a class. In this video, we are going to introduce the action of the herbal medicine. The action of Chinese Materia Medica. Firstly, what's an action? An action refers to the medical effects that the medication plays on human body. This is compared with the side effects. The side effects are the effects, the adverse effects that we don't need. The adverse effects towards the human body. And during the treatment, we try to use the action of the herbs and we try to avoid the, the side effects. From the action, there are two aspects that we need to clarify. Firstly, an action refers to the direct, direct effects or the direct actions, excluding any indirect action. Secondly, an action refers to the action of a single herb, but not a formula. What do they mean? For example, there's one herb called Huang Bai. So this is the name of the herbs, this is the image of the herbs. So Huang Bai has the function of clearing heat and drying dampness. And when we study the diagnostics and the basic theory, we knew that one type of the jaundice and one type of the diarrhea, the patient might due to the dampness and heat. So in this way, Huang Bai can use to treat the jaundice and stop diarrhea. Huang Bai can be used to relieve jaundice or to stop diarrhea due to dampness and heat because Huang Bai can clear the heat and dry dampness. Then it can relieve the jaundice. But when you see from this route, if you skip this part, you will conclude that Huang Bai can relieve jaundice, can stop diarrhea. But when you see from here, this is indirect effects. The, the reason why Huang Bai can be used in jaundice or diarrhea that's because the Huang Bai has the function to clear heat and to dry dampness. So Huang Bai can be used for jaundice and diarrhea only due to the heat and dampness. Huang Bai doesn't have the function to stop jaundice or to, to relieve jaundice or to stop diarrhea. So that's the indirect action. This part is indirect action. And sometimes you will ask, how do you know the indirect action? Because clearing heat and dry dampness does from theory, but what we can see in our practice, what we can see is that the Huang Bai you can use in jaundice, you can use in patient with diarrhea. So how do you know that's not the direct action? In other very simple words, if from the direct action is the action of the herbs, no matter in which situation, the, the herbs will have this kind of function. For instance, if, a, if, a, if Huang Bai can be used for all kinds of jaundice, or Huang Bai can be used for all kinds of diarrhea, then because this Huang Bai has the function of Relieving jaundice or stopping diarrhea, but that's not the not the fat. The fat is Huang Bai only can be used in jaundice or diarrhea that's due to heat or dampness. That's because Huang Bai doesn't have the function to reduce to reduce jaundice or to treat the diarrhea. Huang Bai has the function to clear the heat and to dry dampness which can result in relieving jaundice or stopping diarrhea. So that's the direct action and indirect actions. 
Another example, a formula, the a formula, Xiao Cai Hu Tang. When you see, this is our first time to, to see the term Tang. Tang is a Chinese pronunciation. It means decoction. So decoction is the, the herbal medicine that you cook together. Decoction. This is uh, one of the most common dosage form that we use in Chinese herbal medicine. So we put a group of the herbs from the formula or from the prescription. We cook them, we concentrate the liquid, then we call it Xiao Cai Hu Tang. Xiao Cai Hu Tang has the function to harmonize Sao Yang, the Sao Yang Three Jiao or Sao Yang Go Bladder. And then the chief herbs in Xiao Cai Hu Tang, Cai Hu, Huang Qing. In this way, this formula, Xiao Cai Hu Tang, has the function to harmonize Sao Yang. But although these two herbs are the chief herbs in Xiao Cai Hu Tang, we don't say that Cai Hu has the function to harmonize Sao Yang or Huang Qing have the function, so we don't say in this way, because this function is from the formula, a complex, a complex of the, the herbs, not one single herb. So that's also why we need to study the herbal medicine, we need to study the, the principle of the formula, because when you put the different herbs, when you put different herbs together, their function changes, change. This is very similar when you put different acupuncture points together. The function may change. So the action of a single herb, the action of a single herb, which refers to, firstly, the direct action. Secondly, the action of a single herb. So it's not the indirect action, is neither in the, in the direct action nor the action of the formula. And then when we mention about the action, what kinds of action do we have for the, from the herbal medicine? Firstly, there are, there, there are therapeutic actions. There are also actions for health pre preserving Therapeutic actions you can use for symptoms such as yang deficiency, yin deficiency, flare accumulation, these symptoms that we study in the diagnostics. The herbs also can be used to treat symptoms such as the qing hao can be used to malaria, the symptoms. All the diseases, sorry, this is a modular diseases. For symptoms, such as Quan Dong Hua, one, one of the herbal medicine, can be used to treat cough. So, because the, the action to focus on the symptoms, or symptoms, or diseases. Health pre preserving, prevent diseases, and preserve health. Or maintaining health. This is more for we. We also, in other words, sometimes they also translate it into longevity or health cultivation. How to keep health and live long. This is the and the action for the herbal medicine. This action or this way of of thinking. We also have in acupuncture. Acupuncture points, the action of the acupuncture points can use for symptoms. Sometimes it can use for symptoms. And sometimes it also can be used for diseases. Some points and or some treatment techniques can be used to prevent diseases and to maintain health. So that's the, these two are the actions of the herbal medicine and also the actions of the acupoints.